In this video, we are going to solve these four questions from previous year's SNAP papers. I suggest everyone to take the screenshot of these four questions, try it by yourself, then come back to this video. Let's have a look at question number 115. In a competitive exam, there are five sections. 10% of students cleared the cutoff in all the sections and 5% clear in none of the sections. From the remaining candidates, 30% cleared only section 1 and so on. So over here, what I will do is, let's assume that total number of students are 100x. Out of that, 10% means 10x cleared cutoff in all the sections. Then 5% means 5x cleared cutoff in none of the section. And the remaining are 85x students. Okay. Out of these remaining students, okay, the remaining percentages are applicable on this 85x. Out of this 85x, 30% cleared only section 1. Only section 1, 30% of 85x. Then, only section 2 is 20% of 85x. Then, only section 3 is 10% of 85x and the remaining and the remaining 1020 candidates cleared only section 4 listen me ca listen me carefully everyone and the remaining remaining means how many percentages let's have a look at it so 30 plus 20 plus 10 it's 60 percentages out of 100 minus 60 percent it gives us 40 percent means remaining 40 percent students cleared only section 4. This 40% means what? 40% of 85x that is equal to 1020 students. So let's solve this everyone. So this is going to be 22 za 25 za 17 5 za 17 6 za 102. So the value of x is going to be how much? 60 into 5 divided by 2 into 5 the value of x becomes 30. We need to find total number of students that is 100 into 30. Our answer is 3000. This is how we can solve question number 115. Let's have a look at question number 116. A man sold three-fifths of his articles at a gain of 20% and the remaining at a cost price. Find the gain earned in this transaction. So let's have a look at it, everyone. So three fifth of articles over here. You can assume that total number of articles. Total number of articles are five. Three fifth means first three articles. On each and every first three articles, he earned twenty percent profit. And the remaining two articles, he sold at zero percent profit. So the overall overall profit percentage is going to be the average of individual profit percentages. Overall profit percentage is going to be the average of individual profit percentages that is equal to 60 divided by 5. That is nothing but 12 percentages. Or you can do as a weighted average as well. How? On 3 fifth lot he earned 20% profit. And on remaining 2 fifth lot he earned 0% profit. So the overall profit percentage is going to be how much? 12 plus 0. That is equal to 12 percentages. That is option number 3. Let's have a look at the next question. Question number 117. A trader sells 20 articles at rupees 54 after giving a discount of 10% and he gains 50% profit. If the discount is not given, the profit earned is how much? So let's have a look at it. This is per article, not for 20 articles. For one article, selling price is equal to 54. Discount offered is 10%. So from discount, what we can calculate? The ratio of mark price and selling price. 
if mark price is 10 rupees i am going to offer a discount of 10 percent that is 1 rupee so selling price becomes 9 in actual selling price is 54 everyone so the mark price becomes how much 9 represent 54 that is into 6 so 10 represent 60 so the mark price of article is 60 rupees and he earned profit of 50 percent everyone let's have a look at it profit is equal to 50 percent that is 1 by 2 it gives us a ratio of cost price and selling price if cost price is 2 rupees profit is 50 percent that is 1 rupee is a profit so the selling price becomes 3 the selling price is 54 this 3 represents 54 means into 18 so this 2 represents how much into 18 2 into 18 is 36 rupees so the cost price of one article is 36 and the mark price of one article is 60. Now we are not going to offer any discount. If the discount is not given, in that case, mark price becomes selling price. So the cost price of one article is 36. Selling price is same as mark price everyone because we are not going to offer discount. So 60 rupees is selling price. So profit percentage is how much? profit we are earning 24 rupees on 36 rupees into 100 profit percentage is equal to profit divided by cost price into 100 so this ratio is how much 2 by 3 2 by 3 is nothing but 66.66 percent so we can mark option number 2 after this question number 118 let's read it carefully a bottle contains 50 liters of milk from this bottle 5 liter of milk was taken out and replaced with water. This process was repeated further for 3 times. How much milk is now contained in the bottle? So over here we are having a direct formula. Whenever the initial mixture is pure, we are removing some quantity and same quantity we are replacing it with water. In this question, in every operation we are, we are removing a fixed quantity that is 5 liters. So the formula is whenever the initial mixture is pure, over here initially pure milk is there, the formula is milk left divided by total mixture is equal to 1 minus quantity removed in each operation is x. Over here in every operation the same quantity is removed 5. So the quantity removed in each operation that is x that is 5 divided by total quantity that is total mixture to the power number of times the operation performed. So in this situation we can directly use this formula. So over here the milk left we need to find divided by total mixture is 50 liters is equal to 1 minus quantity removed in each operation is 5 divided by total mixture is 50 to the power 4. Total how many times this process is performed? 1 and then 3 times further. Total 4 times. So let's solve this everyone. So milk left is equal to 50 into, this is equal to 1 minus 1 by 10, 1 minus 1 by 10 is 9 by 10 to the power 4. You should know 9 to the power 4 is 6561, 10 to the power 4 is 10,000. So let's solve this, you will get your answer. This is 50 twoza. So our answer is going to be 65.61 divided by 2. Our answer is 32.8, that is option number 1.